as part of the requirement of the law, two-thirds of the honorable members are required during the voting in the Hallow Chamber, which the two-thirds of the honorable members of the honorable house is 16 honorable members. Unfortunately for us, we ascertained the number of 18 honorable members in favor of the impeachment. After the voting in the Allot Chamber, resolution was made and was forwarded to the CG for action. We are all aware that Judicial Investigative Panel was formed and subsequently inaugurated by CG Honorable Justice <coughs> Kule Aliyu yesterday. The House, the Honorable House, is now ready to prosecute its case before the panel. And we are going to charge and prosecute him, uh, prosecute the Deputy Governor Barista Mahdi Ali Uguso on the following charges. Number one, breach of constitution. Violation of section 190 of the 1999 constitution as amended of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which stated that His Excellency the Deputy Governor should act as the acting governor of the state while His Excellency the Executive Governor of the state is absent, which the Deputy Governor, Barista Mahadi Ali Ugusaw, he intentionally and willingly failed to perform as acting governor with the intention to create leadership problem in the state. Violation of section 193, which says that the governor may assign any role or function to the deputy governor of which he intentionally and willingly failed to perform despite the governor has assigned him to perform but he failed because of his insubordination. However, he doesn't attend statutory meetings prescribed by the law of the land. Number two, criminal misappropriation of funds. Number one, fraud, conspiracy to cheat, diversion of public funds, false representation of expenditure. False representation of expenditure. All these offenses were either committed by him or under his watch. That is the deputy governor, Barista Mahadi Ali Ubusaw. Therefore, let the gentlemen of the press be aware that no court proceedings or order can stop impeachment processes initiated by the Honorable House, lawfully in accordance with 188 subsection 10 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Gentlemen of the press, I am also happy to announce to you that the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja yesterday, in its wisdom, denied the Deputy Governor his request to stop the impeachment move initiated by this Honorable House, which, in essence, has cleared any doubt regarding the invitation of the honorable members of this assembly to appear before the court. Therefore, uh, this is the current position of the honorable house, and then this is where we are today. That is why we summon the gentlemen of the press in order to give an update.